Well, it is 2.38 in the morning, super fucking late at night, and now's a good time as any to play episode 5 of season 1 of the Batman Telltale series that I should have played months ago, so here in a little bit, we can start on season 2, because I'm actually really wanting to play season 2. I just kind of want to get through this one because I've played it before, I know what happens. That's why they haven't been as fun. So, this is the last episode that won't be blind. Every episode that I do from here on out, from season two on, will be completely blind. So, without any hesitation, let us begin. Let's see how this goes. Previously on Batman. We need a new Batman Arkham game. I'm it's going crazy obvious. over here. That's why Vicky hates you. Your dad help bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. Damn it, Harvey. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. <laughs> you don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. God, My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Bullshit! Just certain aspects of it, anyway. But it all comes around to the same place. Has to. Everybody fucking plays the shit. It's 2.40 and I'm fucking hungry. It's too late for Domino's to deliver, so I guess I'm just shit out of luck till morning. Oh, I'm going to be up all night, take a shower, and sleep all day, hopefully. Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I, was so proud. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Why is it being so fucking laggy, though? Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. I can't believe this thing runs so poorly. It really doesn't have to run much at all. It's not like it's Arkham Knot where I have to load the whole fucking city. Oh my god. Drop her. Yeah. Alright, game, I'm gonna stop lagging. Batman's sighted boss. Right bad. on top! Safety. I can't just leave these people. My hill. Can't hack a battering, bitch. Hold the fucking. Is this gonna this lag the whole fucking time? Like, shit, I can barely play it. Batman! No! It's a trap! Fucking frame by frame. <laughs> Oh, 
I haven't actually died playing Telltale Batman before. Even on my blind playthroughs. Not now. Does this count? Is that a death or is that supposed to happen? That was supposed to happen. I can't remember. I couldn't remember. Wasn't Grogan a corrupt piece of shit though? I think of the other commissioner, Loeb. You have to stop them. Yeah, Save our city. Commissioner! Commissioner! He's if this shit doesn't stop wagging. He's gone. Look at that. Ugh. On my original save file where I did this blind and off stream, it was a bit different. Alfred. Offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent. Penguin improved the armor. How? Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me off as a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on her, they'll go easy on you. I don't need toys to deal with the likes of you. You sure about that, Batman? Because from the look of it, you could use a little help. Ta-ta, Batman! No, no, come on, just stay put. Oh, oh, bloody! Take it back, Bats. If I can just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. He's made improvements, even deadlier than before. Wayne Tech, in Penguin's hands. It's a dangerous weapon. men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The Batsuit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce. Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable. But far from helpless. And meeting him as Batman would play right into his hand. Penguin would never pass up an opportunity to gloat. He'll be happy to talk to his old friend, Bruce Wayne. And while he's busy talking, you'll be figuring out a way to stop him. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. <clears throat> and that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. Ooh. 
Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is... Green, get back! Jesus, God! That's mature. Martinez! I'm seeing a Martinez. Some kind of transmitter. Fire. Good Dios. Hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. Transmit. Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Charles, some sure of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two fifth feet kill my men. If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. I know exactly how to push Oz's buttons. I'll make him so mad, the only thing he'll see is red. That's all well and good, but he wants you dead. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things Damn. about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. <laughs> I'll smash all the dumb faces. I get this kid be mad at Bruce. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got a Wayne in Cobblebug Park. Oswald! Bruce! Welcome! The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect lure! Not that I'm upset, but... What does bring you by? Hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. Feels too good to be true. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still, I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. Notice that Bruce Wayne they paid for sticking like their that. snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screens. Maybe you just aren't important enough. Everyone knows you're only Lady Arkham's... Oh, nobody's lucky, Wayne! Lady Arkham and I are more... Lady Arkham's in bit. crime. <laughs> and Batman will show. He just can't help himself when lives are at stake. And when he arrives, oh ho oh, ho! Oh. The lights, the sounds, oh, Jimbo. the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine 
Oh, Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. She's just using you. Oh, we've got an understanding, her and I. I've done all right by all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago. You and me met in his very park. Me, crawling out of the gutter. You, looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? I always treated you with respect, Oz. Respect? Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned the word after I tossed you out of your company. Up your ass is where he's gonna be. This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. I don't need Batman's help to bring you down. Woo! <laughs> you hear that, Batman? Someone's normally fooling himself. Not that I don't think you can handle yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, eh, hey, Bruce? You pissed me off, Oz. So you got what was coming to you. Oh, I'll tell you what's coming to me. Revenge! Another and ass it's woman. about bloody time. I like this version of the Penguin, though. The best thing about this series. In Arkham Asylum, to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! Wayne's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family! Shoot him! Enough of this! You trying to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. That man be down. We're done, chap, no friend. I'm releasing these drones! You'll make mutton out of you and all the lawmen around this park! And then on to the rest of this bloody city. Hey! We are not done here, Oswald. Oh, yes, we are. We've been done for 20 years. Is that... I knew it. Shut it! Fuck! How did you miss? Not like it was a long shot. You bastard! Take that, motherfucker. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, I fucked up. That's a first. That damn shot around the face. Okay, let's try that again. That one. Okay. I was, uh. I oh, God. Oh, Bruce! You, you bastard! Kick his oh. ass. You got a lot to answer for. Oh, you bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <laughs> Is that all you've got? Enjoy prison, Cobblepot. It's where you're gonna spend the rest of your life. Freedom is right. Shot me in the fucking head. I'm gonna make sure that bastard never sees the light of day. You Honestly, did didn't know you could have game over events. It's so fucking easy. Gotham and the GCPD owe you. Thank you. It won't be forgotten. 
You think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. Push out of the way no. McDonald's, guys. She isn't. I never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea of where she is than we do. Dude would stop tagging me and stuff. Jesus, I don't fucking care. If I want to talk about something, I'll talk to you. <sighs> Remove tag. Thank you. How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Bat Cave, but it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. It doesn't even matter. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed I me. I felt often. so lame hitting that option, but, but it felt like I the right have. thing to say. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother... She wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. <clears throat> if I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey... Not blame, Al. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Don't cry. Thank you, Bruce. For love of God. But our work isn't done. This fucking melodrama is killing me. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. I just wish this was an With Arkham both game. Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, and finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. Hopefully he was, uh... If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. So much for sitting down. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name... Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader <coughs> Gotham couldn't ignore. Uh, 
Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Not another mirror image storyline. What about this? The though? Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record is. I bet there's some really complete. obvious You're shit right. there. Isn't there? there are notable gaps between entries, but yet. It doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Okay. So we're back to letting the computer and the tech do all the work for us. Man, these games just don't do it for me, man. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Don't be a dick. Uh... Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security <coughs> system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Her dick pic collection, I don't know. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's better. Okay. Um. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly Must be nice. supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Must be nice. Anyway, we're done with that. Am I supposed to go back to this again? I forget. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients, reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums, all to find it's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. 
It's Looks a like list the of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters. God, can we get to this boring shit? Like, it's bored. almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Catwoman. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. That's true. They gotta pay attention sure she to this does. Shit. The device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. Wait. expecting you thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least if you wanted to see me you could have just called <laughs> the chase is so much more fun but I know you're not here for me are you I don't blame you for wanting it back <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this no doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options I'd use it for the are good so of that ass. <clears throat> exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Got a fidget spinner. It's the only thing keeping me entertained right now. Catch. See, we're being nice to her. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. You whore. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. Huh. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. You talk a good game, but I don't buy it for a second. Yeah. You're not that shallow. You front. You really think you know me that well? I know that whatever this started as, that's not all it means to you now. The only thing it means is that I'm very good at my job. Fidgets, I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This Come town with me. hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, I'll show but... You some skills. But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. 
It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Yeah. Is Awkward. that what you really thought? I had fun, Selena. Didn't you? I'm all for fun, Bruce. But how long does this stay fun before you start wanting more? <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. Can we plow again? A more intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like Don't it be if vulnerable, that were true, Bruce. wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Uh, uh. Because I love you, Selena. <sighs> Bam. You barely know me. Bruce, we went there, if didn't that's we? your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Laugh it off, Bruce. No, I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. What? Can't wait to get out of this place. Stay out of trouble, Selena. Because if not, I will stop you. You can certainly try. Maybe the L bomb is a little too far, huh? Although nothing was gonna make her stay. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! To the Bat Cave! Another fucking crime scene daily. I hate these. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. Well, the bitch didn't get to the cave. It's all good. Alfred's dispendable. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. Dispendable. Expensive. What happened to you, Al? I need to go back to uh, fucking school and take a vocabulary class, I guess. Anyway. Um. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Everywhere. Uh. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Horse. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. The 
This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. We're looking at everything first. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. I already tell I'm not gonna want to play season two after playing this. Well, I'll play it, but not tonight. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. How are we doing this without a fucking it across bat his stuff. attacker's head? When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Gross. Okay. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. How the hell? These weren't scattered by the same event. See a connection here. Oh god damn it, Bruce. Um right link. Okay. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. I hate these. So fucking boring. Am I missing something? In this busted ass room. No connection, right? Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. Good. The children of Arkham broke in. Don't Alfred really care, barricaded to be himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped. But then Lady Arkham entered the parlor. You're tough motherfucker. Used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Ugh. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. That's it, Sherlock. Alfred. Word reckoning. You have no idea. <sighs> so bored. Basically, streaming me watching a movie.
thought about playing Friday the 13th, I just don't feel like a hassle. Bruce Wayne, you should be rotting in a padded cell. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry, you'll get him back eventually. Peace, my bloody peace. No. Alfred! For this. I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Let's do it, Lee. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual limits using my cowl. I call bullshit. I'm thinking, Alfred. I say Alfred's full of shit. <laughs> okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. I don't believe it. Here we go. I don't believe it. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Yep. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought He's upstairs. the one Alfred stabbed. Dirty motherfucker. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Oh, Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built was in 1945 the by them. That's a Somebody get Zachary problem. Hubbard on the bat phone, please. Can't believe I just gave that guy a plug. Not that it matters. Lady Argo. Nobody watches my shit Keep anyway. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. I do this for fun. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. At the Vale House, like he was there before. Uh. Get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, Duh. where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually, one of the early prototypes. <coughs> it has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Good oh, call. Let's do it. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It is what it is. But it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This ends tonight. And 
I wish I had a better Batman game to stream for you guys. Something a bit more entertaining for me to play. I could Heading play into the basement. Friday later. Be careful. I don't know. Uh, one second. What the fuck? Look out! I knew there was something on these fucking stairs. I'm all right. I played this once, but that was forever ago. Jesus Christ! When did I play this? There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! No There's Alfred. blood on the walls. Fuckers. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Red Fox, standing by. But this is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. <laughs> well. Still wet. The blood hasn't congealed Maybe yet. Maybe there's time. Means we can't be far <laughs> behind them. Nobody, get, nobody probably gets that reference. I just made. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. It's a false wall. Looks like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Now okay. let's find out where the veils were hiding. It's not wasting any fucking time, shall we? There's a small room. The server as fast as anybody else would. With a hole in the floor. <clears throat> this will free me up to do season two whenever I feel like it. Alfred! A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. I'm going inside. what was done to her. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this <clears throat> room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. No reflections being made down here, motherfucker. 
One piece apart from the others. Purple. Looks like a dick. The same color as my tech. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... That drawing looks like Alfred. Uh. The highlighted words read, To Arkham. Dick on the wall. I see it. This is what he wanted me to find. It's like the great to see. Disney conspiracy He's theory. He's modified one of her old Lady it's Arkham Disney drawings related. to include himself <clears throat> and these two words: "To Arkham." The chief going to Arkham, and she's taking Alfred with her. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon in the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham will be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Looks a lot like the Arkham on the Gotham show. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Yeah, Copy. Of on our way. Turn the air on. Go ahead. I got this. Get this over with at some point. <clears throat> at least we're getting it over with. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred I'm Pennyworth is. Whoop your is. ass, the Butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course, he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself. His suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the Bales kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're on. Your time's run out. Is the sound going to start cutting out now? Classic Telltale. Vicky! Stay on your toes. There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. <sighs> These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Oh, the, deep, the deep manly voice ain't doing nothing for you. Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing your way! The 
face back. Batman. He stuck me in here! We got Wolfman. Let me out. He's the crazy one. Really, it's that simple, huh? Come on. Systems offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went that way. It's not like how Harvey just went like saving his cell and everything. I guess this is how he's gonna get out. Just hit the fan. Nobody's trying to hit this bitch. You're not getting away from Vicky. Oh, the back computer could slow down Tom. You know, when I did this on my other save file, the person with the taser was invisible. Which is hilarious to me. See, this shit right here is like boring. Let's just get to the fucking ass kicking and let's do the ass kicking. I want to give him the fucking chair because, you know, I'm a wrestling fan over here. <coughs> Maybe a displaced wrestling fan, but I'm still a fan of wrestling. Right in his fucking face. Drop the lots on your head. <clears throat> Hit the lots. Battle ready. Alright, we go. Jesus. <laughs> Short hair too. Yeah. Looks like Negasonic teenage warhead. That's the plan. Nope. Ah. Good shot, Jim. You're going to die. Standing here and Augie through the table, oh my god. Truly inspiring. Hello. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. You sick fuck. You sick fuck. <clears throat> stop resisting. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. Do it. Oh, big dude. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. They're ghosts. Walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now. 
But I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. It's always a secret hole in the floor. Always. Oh, Shawshank. Oh, the Shawshank was a hole in the wall. Am I gonna have to crawl through a river of shit to get out of here? I'm so fucking hungry. It's four in the morning. I have to wait at least five more hours for we can go get something to eat. Vicky! Probably just force myself to sleep before you know that. You need help. You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. Why do they always throw that in your face? They always fucking say that. Everyone's just saying that. Yeah, I don't want to dress like a bat. Shut up. The butler has to die. Just Payment have to. for Thomas Wilson's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. Uh, if you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. Damn, it's so ghetto. Vicky, stop. Get those nasty AIDS games. needles to stab to me. me. Now I feel like I'm playing Crash Bandicoot. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for God. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Indiana Jones, basically. You see that? We want the same things. There's a better way. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. Are you Mick Foley? Final! You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burden. My reaction time is shit. Ever since I died that one time earlier, I've been on edge. I'm like, God, I better not fuck up. Because I, I had to be reminded, you can fuck this up. No matter how much this doesn't feel like an actual video game, you can fuck up. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Have your way. Batman, how many more times are you going to let this bitch kick your ass? Yay, we're almost at the end. Jesus Christ. Help me get through this. Poor boy. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came, you came for me. After what you said, 
I knew you'd come. The man. The man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? She just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! Girl. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. Duh. It makes you me the wonder. Wolf, first detective? Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh, bitch. That man. Don't you. Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you do it, Bruce. If that's what it will take to save him. No! But if it pans up and it's somebody else. <laughs> oh, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man that is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. Shut the fuck A up. A true way. <laughs> Typical woman. There's nothing Bring shit up from the past. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family. Jesus Christ. Ooh, that's gross. That's fucking gross. The lost part of his ear. She fucking tosses his ass. Ooh. I hit the wrong fucking button. At first. Woman. This no part more of the lies. No more talk. How's he gonna explain the that? The truth left is in your death. Hate those. Anyone with the fucking analog stick is garbage. How can this bitch box so well? Not Baron Corbin. Nobody gets buried up in here. Oh, 
Come on. I should have any teeth left. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> If the public knew the that glass half of it, floating in the air. It's better that they don't. Oh, I see what it is. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect <laughs> I'll be hearing from her anytime <laughs> soon. The liquid that glass did. With everything that's been going on, I, I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. Hold me down, Alfred. After everything that's happened. And Hold shit you're down, in. fam. At least there's You'll something make me left cry. in it. <laughs> and Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gross looking. That it does. How are you going to explain that? God, it's so gross. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. <laughs> you should be proud. There will Lady be more. Arkham, Penguin, or Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely God, not. Rough. But you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. The forces of evil rise again. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon 
has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly yeah. is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could <clears throat> be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne <laughs> is Batman. <sighs> You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, leg hurts. is someone my knee I'm hurts proud like of fish, like... and honored to call my friend. I don't know if it's something I did at work. It's like cramping. Thank you, Alfred. Shit. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Uh... Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe. Fuck it, I'll go with Bruce. Now, Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Since I accidentally didn't say anything to him earlier. <laughs> God, can this be over yet? I'm bored. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving? What'd you use, a chainsaw? <laughs> well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that uh, nasty business of your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that... I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. Gotham doesn't have to like me, but I do hope they'll hear me out. I appreciate that. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. So, him? does this mean you <laughs> trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner God, Gordon. Stand already. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. 
or at least as a result of his actions. Yeah. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man, heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources show to him the improve the city up, Bosch, and make the show, lives please. of its citizens better. And to that end, A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to yes. make Gotham safer than it choice. ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Good about that. Well, I guess it's just like reminds you, hey, it is Gotham. Oh, we already know that. God damn. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon. Good. You will see me soon. Probably not right now, though. Because I was just happy to fucking get that over with. Oh, ah. Well. <laughs> 2.3% of you guys are assholes. Yep. Well, I mostly feel good about myself, but I guess that was a failure on um, keeping the old penguin distracted. But anyway, I'm glad that's over. Now, next time we play the, the Batman Telltale series, it'll be a lot more interesting because it'll be blind and I'll be experiencing it for the first time and I might be a little bit more engaged. And so, thank you very much. I'm happy to get through this. Here's to brighter days ahead. I'll see you next time for season two.